Nominations for the position of Speaker of the House of Representatives are now in order. Mr. Presiding Officer, I move that the distinguished representative from the 1st District of Ilocos Norte, the Honorable Ferdinand Alexander Araneta Marcos, be recognized to make his nomination. The distinguished representative from the 1st District of Ilocos Norte, the Honorable Ferdinand Alexander A. Marcos, is recognized. Mr. Presiding Officer, with unity at the core of the government as our shared vision for the next six years, the House of Representatives requires, now more than ever, a leader that embodies inclusivity, possesses unquestionable competency, and feels genuinely for the people we are all duty-bound to serve. Someone who is of the belief that as the dust has settled from these elections, the time for politics must come to an end and public service must begin. As such, among the distinguished members of this August Chamber, the Honorable Ferdinand Martin G. Romualdez is the most qualified to lead the House of Representatives to accomplish this formidable task. In his 12 solid years of legislative experience, he is best known as a consensus builder regarded with great affection and respect by most, if not all, members of this institution, no matter where they are on the political spectrum. We know that it is not an easy feat for a person to listen to and consolidate support from more than 300 elected officials, all of whom are leaders in their own right. Yet, Representative Romualdez seems to have found this balance. He values everyone's opinion and exudes the charm to get everyone to voluntarily and conscientiously work together towards a common goal. Because of this positive trait, he, along with other members of the 18th Congress, were able to usher with expediency the two critical Bayanihan bills in the House of Representatives during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, just when the country needed these laws the most. Representative Romualdez's competence is far beyond dispute. His professional experience as a lawyer and banking executive allow him to take an analytical and corporate approach to economic, to economic issues that require suitable legislation. With him as the, major, as the House Majority Leader, Congress was able to pass laws supportive of economic growth, such as the CREATE law, as well as measures amending the Public Service Act and the Foreign Investments Act of 1991. Such accomplishments have shown that he is able to strike a healthy equilibrium between economic interests and public welfare. Moreover, Representative Martin Romualdez is well loved by the people of the first district of Leyte. He is popular for his meaningful community programs and initiatives that positively impact the lives of many of his constituents. Should he be the next leader of the House of Representatives, we can only expect with much enthusiasm that his genuine interest and compassion for people will be reflective of the facets that the 19th Congress hopes to possess. Much has been said regarding the familial relations of Representative Romualdez to the President, but for reasons I have stated prior, one can truly ascertain that his qualifications are beyond sufficient to lead us to great heights. To say that he has not worked his way up through various positions in Congress would be a grave injustice to the effort he has put into his role throughout his 12 years as a legislator. Consequentially, it is through this rationale that I put forth the nomination of the Honorable Ferdinand Martin G. Romualdez as the 24th Speaker of the House of Representatives for the 19th Congress of the Republic of the Philippines. Thank you.